Hello, welcome. I'm Victor Scargo, Culinary Director for Atelier Fine Foods and Catering in Boisset Collection. We're going to do another sauce today. We're going to work on a classic French sauce called a beurre blanc. There's a beurre rouge using red wine and there's a beurre blanc using white wine. Today we're going to do white wine. The process is the same for both. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Very good for you. Uh, not much flavor to compete with it. A little bit of fruitiness, which is nice and some shallots. So you can use onions if you don't have shallots. We like to use shallots because they're less harsh. It's a little bit sweeter flavor. So we're just gonna take the shallots and just slice them up. We've got a saucepan on over here. It's on low with a little bit of that oil in it. And then we're gonna add the shallots to our saucepan. And notice that there's no sizzle. That's what we want. We don't want any sort of a sizzle. We're not trying to saute them. We're just trying to sweat them or bring the flavor out. So to help with that, we add a little bit of salt right off the bat. That's gonna help draw out the flavor of those shallots. So we wanna keep this on fairly low. We're gonna sweat those. We're gonna add some of my favorite aromatics, a little coriander seed, some fennel seed, and a touch of black pepper, not too much because we don't want it to be too harsh. We also don't want to color the sauce. The sauce is beurre blanc white, so it shouldn't have too much black pepper in it. Otherwise, it's going to color the sauce and affect the outcome of it. So we're going to sweat those over low heat. As those start to sweat, the moisture starts to come out. We'll know that that's, that's working properly. Then we're going to add some white wine. The Sauvignon Blanc works great. It's got some acid. We've talked before about what wine should I use. You don't want to use something too cheap because it's going to have some bitter, it's going to have some, some maybe too acidic and some flavors we don't want. So we want to use something that's a good wine, maybe something that, that was left over from the night before. Um, because again, if it's, got, if it's not a good wine, then we got to fix that before we can make anything good with it. So you don't want to start out with something that's too expensive, but again, we don't want to get on too cheap side either. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a product we're not happy with. So the white wine goes in. We've got some seasoning in there. We're going to add a little bit more seasoning and we're going to let that reduce down to almost dry. So almost sec, they would say. At that point, once we've got it on reducing, that one it depends on how long that, how high of a heat you have. It shouldn't take too long. We also, we don't want it to go too fast. So it's a process, making sauces is a slow process. So don't rush it. It'll reduce down and what you'll end up with, something that looks like this, okay? So we've got it nice and reduced down. And at that point, we're going to, in a traditional beurre blanc, you would just start to whisk in your butter at this point. But what we like to do is we're gonna add a touch of cream to it as a stabilizer. This can help or this can hurt you. When you add a little bit of cream, it's gonna give it a little bit of body to it. I'm gonna add a touch more. I'm also gonna add some thyme to this a lighter herb, you don't want to add anything too heavy. And I'm going to add some bay leaves. What I was saying about the cream is the cream has fat. If you were to add a little bit of cream, you just want to bring it up to a simmer and it's going to work as a binding agency for, for you, that protein. If you take it and you reduce it down too much, it's going to break and actually hurt you instead of helping you because the fat in the cream separates and you've got a broken sauce. So we're going to add the cream, we're going to bring it up to a simmer and then we're just gonna start whisking in our butter. As I mentioned, in a traditional beurre blanc, you wouldn't add any cream to it. It would just be straight butter, and then it's, it's somewhat fragile sauce. So I think for, for most purposes, it's, it's nice to add a touch of cream and add some velvety, velvety texture to it, and a little smoothness to it. So you can see, it's just coming up to a simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer a little bit, and then I'm gonna start folding in butter. Butter is just going to add as a thickener to it, some richness to it. Again, we like to use uh, flou gras to cook with. It's French butter. It's over 80% fat, so it's going to have a lot of good flavor. Once I start adding butter, I'm going to start to pull it back a little bit. I have to turn my heat down and pull it off the heat because we don't want to be whisking this over really high heat. So I can just kind of move it back and forth and let the butter kind of melt into it. This is a great sauce for fish. Uh, sometimes it'll be used with meat as well. And it's just an all around really nice sauce and it's very easy to make and your guests will really appreciate it as well. Another thing that you can add sometimes to it, you have the white wine which is going to add some acid, but you can add 
maybe blood oranges in the fall or winter time or Meyer lemon or you know some other types of citrus is nice to add in it as well and like I mentioned maybe you're doing a, a, a heavier meat or a darker fish an albacore tuna a big eye tuna something like that then maybe you want to make a beurre rouge and so instead of adding the white wine add some red wine to it add something lighter maybe a pinot noir a zinfand maybe a zinfandel depending on how you're going to serve it what you're going to serve it with but you can see it's got some nice body to it. I'm gonna add another spoonful of butter here. And then I'm gonna to wanna to check the seasoning. I've added a lot of fat to this, so I wanna make sure that I'm checking the seasoning on it. And that's just gonna be a little salt. I'm gonna whisk it in a little bit more, give it a taste. And then depending on what I'm gonna serve it with, I can add a little bit of pepper as well. Just gonna give it a taste. That's nice. So it should have good balance. Should have that richness, the, the creaminess, the velvetiness of all that fat from the butter and the cream. Should have the acid from the wine. And then you should taste the seasoning. You should taste the salt and pepper. A lot of times when we're cooking, if we can't taste the salt and pepper, when you add all the elements of the plate together, you're not gonna end up with a very nice product. So everything should be seasoned on its own. Not overly seasoned, not under seasoned, but you should be able to taste it you'll end up with a great final product. So you can see all the butter has been whisked in. It's got a nice texture to it. I'm gonna bring it over here and I've got this nice little hand strainer. It's nice and fine. And strain all of the shallots, the aromatics, the bay leaves out. And I've got this plate that's gonna show Kind of the consistency of it, the velvetiness of it. And you can see we've got this beautiful white creamy velvety sauce. Amazing with scallops, with Dungeness crab, uh, maybe sole, halibut, a lot of white fish it's really nice with. You can use a bear rouge and use some other things. Salmon is great with as well. You could even use it with some chicken or even quail depending on how you're going to serve it. But it's a very traditional French sauce. It's a nice beurre blanc.